Um, hello, in this video I'm going to do a short introduction to our new project that we are going to do together. Um, it's going to be the same um, procedure as Khadem project that we did. And I'm really excited about this one. And I think that it will make us, uh, make me at least, learn many stuff that I didn't learn correctly at university. So what is this project? This project is to write a CPU simulator. And I don't have a good name for this. Maybe I change this name later, but this is basically a CPU simulator. What is um, our goal? Our goal is to have a um, is to have a CPU that has 64 bit. This is a simulator, so it's just a software. We don't do anything low level. We are going to do this in SQL, of course and so we imagine we have a we want so so imagine how a cpu works so each cpu based on um what would be so nowadays every 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 cpu is 64 bits but there are 64 bits there's 32 bits and i think there were 16 bits as well so we want to create a 64 bit cpu uh, i'm gonna just create 16 registers we can do any number of that because we are doing it in code so there's no engineering limitations we have but for start we want to just do this and also um, and also um, we are going to do um, stack based memory for the CPU uh, I'm Actually, I suspected that this is not recording my voice correctly. No, I think it's correct. So um, our CPU is going to have a stack-based uh, memory in RAM, of course. So we are going to simulate RAM as well, not completely, but... And also a heap memory, which is also inside RAM. And uh, we are going to read about both of these and how they work. I know how stack-based work. So basically a stack based memory is basically a stack inside RAM and it's a stack data structure. So you can only, you know, pop values or um, move the stack pointer. And a stack pointer has a special register inside the CPU itself that holds the stack pointer. We are going to have some special purpose CPU uh, registers and also maybe later we can have um, Maybe we can have um, more um, special instructions for the CPU that use a special purpose registers. So our CPU for start is going to only have uh, simple mathematic operators or instructions. What are those? Basically what our CPU can do. At start, we are going to, have to add instructions to it as well. I'm actually thinking about maybe some object-like operations. I mean, imagine having an instruction that knows that you are act, um, you you knows you are um, operating on an object and can deref can you know jump to the actual value in that object. But that's for later. For now, we are going to only have set, which basically sets a reference, which is in here is always a register into a value we can add two refs and put them in out sub multiply division power and root are all almost the same they both take two arguments and an output um, this is basically uh, what we're going to build it's going to be in this repo and it's going to be CPU simulator in SIG. That is pretty much it. And I'm really excited to start this project. If you like this um, project and you want me to do more of this stuff, please like and subscribe. And comment if you have any. This, and this is really an area that I really don't know anything, uh, really have a little knowledge about. So I probably I know, say some things uh, wrong or under, I understand them wrong. So you can actually correct me and I would be happy if you correct me. And that is it. 
that is everything for this project it's going to be a short project i don't think that would take long also we are going to have this format so for example um i was you know working on this idea i started implementing a bit the instruction parsing and stuff basically a parser not the cpu part um, last night but actually i started to do it in live i thought it would be nice experience um, imagine we have a program file so this is uh, we should be able to run our cpu should be able to run this program so a set for example dollar one for register one one comma set dollar two two add dollar one dollar one dollar two so what does this do is basically setting register one to one setting register two to two and adding them and putting the res result in here and our cpu should also be able to you know parse these actually let's uh, write this move program into simple add dot bin for binary this is not a binary this is text but we actually maybe um, um, maybe actually we create a binary format specific to our CPU <laughs> that is cross-platform because our CPU is cross-platform actually you can run it down anywhere yeah that is pretty much it and there's another <laughs> I have another idea so if we created this and it was a successful thing we can maybe may make it a bit more high level add more um, instructions to it basically and actually make a virtual machine this would become a virtual machine that then we can create a programming language that will compile down to this virtual machine bytecode which we already see how it looks if you're successful in creating this we would probably go for building an interpreter in um, for for any maybe our own language or i don't know but that's for future for now let's just build this so this is it if you want uh, if you like this um, subscribe and like and also you can always contact me using twitter mail and github issues and stuff thank you very much and until the next video and start of this project goodbye